Hey everybody, welcome back to another legit food review. Uh, I've got something special today. I'm a bit of a hungry, hungry hippo, and I thought, fuck it, let's just make a let's let's make a, a review of some shit. It's not the Krabby Patty meal, but it is another Wendy's product. I'm not a big Wendy's fan, really. I don't think the food is that bad, but I just hate their marketing. I know a lot of people like the quirky Wendy, always insulting people. But I think it's fucking cringe and stupid. Like it, it was, it was kind of neat at first. Like, oh, ha ha, ha uh, look, look, the, the 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 brand is saying things that brands normally wouldn't. But now, ev like every one of them does that, and it's so cliche and played out, and it's so fucking annoying. I don't care if Wendy's, you know, did it first. It's still overplayed, and it's I'm tired of fucking seeing it, and I hate Wendy's. And that leads into uh, this item that we've got here today, or multiple items. I got a lot of forks. I got the Saucy Nugs, and I fucking hate that name. That's actually why I got these, is because I want to complain about them, because I can't just complain about them and then not eat them. So I want to take a shit on what these are called and then see if they're any good. I'm also uh, I'm switching things up today with the little little tiny baby Frosty. Honestly, it's kind of, I feel like Shaq holding a regular water bottle. Mm. Magical. All right, and behind door number two, we've got some fries. You know, it's I don't I don't really need to review them, but I might as well. You know, I got some sauces, but I'll I'll talk about those in a second because I feel like I might get some hard judgment. So I'm just gonna defend myself uh, when I can. That's some honey mustard. It's glaring pretty hard, but it's yellow, so you can see it. Probably not gonna have any, because this shit's all saucy. Now, hold the booze, hold the tomatoes, hold all that shit. I think blue cheese is pretty good when it doesn't suck dick hole. Uh, and that's what I want to see, is if this sucks dick hole. I have a feeling that it might. It's, it's like, damn near boiling, so... I'm probably not gonna like it. My main gripe with the saucy nugs. The name is fucking stupid. Now you can call me old fashioned, you can call me a boomer, but I think that companies should try and be at least a little bit professional. You know, you can have a little bit of fun naming your stuff. You know, as, as long as it fits within the themes and guidelines of your restaurant. Because if it's a, just a completely out of, uh, out of left field, weird fucking name, then it's gonna be super fucking strange. Look, I'm no Wendy's fanboy or anything, but this, it just feels, I guess in character for Wendy's, but I hate that character for Wendy's. So I I just hate the the the, the super Gen Z fucking Zoomer-fied name of Saucy Nugs. And it doesn't fucking stop at just the name. Okay, so the description for these is, is what really tips it over the edge for me. What makes this a meal that I'm determined to not like. I'll, I'll just read this. They've got drip. They've got sauce. And no, we're not talking about a fit check. We're talking about Wendy's new saucy nugs. You heard it right. Saucy nugs. They told us we couldn't make our classic nugs even better, but it's too late. We already did. For a whole new way to nug, it's gotta be Wendy's Saucy Nugs. <laughs> what a quirky little description, oh my god, what, what intern did they have write that one? God, it's fucking annoying when a, when a company like this, one of the giants of fast food, you know, I know it's not exactly the most important title, but here in America, we take our fast food very seriously. And Wendy's is one of the big ones, and they start t fucking talking to me like they're young, like, what pisses me off, right, about this, I, I just realized this, why I fucking hate this lingo. I don't fucking talk like this. I, I don't, right? People my age and younger talk like this, but I don't. And it just makes me think that, like, it, it, it just gives this, this unprofessional, way too fucking young vibe, not in like, not young in a creepy way, but young in like a, I'm not gonna take you seriously kind of way, you know what I mean? I hate when companies try and be relatable or make people laugh or, you know, just try to be human when that's that's not what it is. They're, you're, you're a company and you should carry yourself as such. At least that's what I think. I've done a lot of yapping, so I think I should actually try these saucy nugs because maybe they're actually uh, kind of good and I'm just shitting on them for nothing. So I got one box here. I don't know uh, which one this is. I got three different kinds. There was like a garlic parm or something. And then there was like a ghost pepper one or something. And then buffalo. And I 
think this one is the ghost pepper. And I, I might want to save this one for last because I have a feeling it'll either be incredibly underwhelming or it'll fuck my shit. So I'll start off with the garlic parm ones because I feel like they might be pretty good. I mean, they're like the only ones that I really wanted. Because, uh... You know, it smells really good, so I feel like it'll, it might taste pretty good. So, uh, bone apple tea. You know, at first I was really underwhelmed, and then... Uh, actually, I'm still underwhelmed. As it, the, the flavors did actually start to show themselves a little bit. There's, there's a sweetness in here that doesn't really come out until later on in the show. But man, it's, it's like a grand finale. Let's just take like a little interlude from trying those those saucy nugs for a minute. And I, I just wanna wanna be a bit of a trendsetter, you know? Do something that is is a little little heretical in today's political climate, but something that I just can't help but enjoy. So you take these now very cold fries and you dip that shit in the frosty. It doesn't really matter which flavor, honestly. They only had chocolate, but Vanilla works too. It's just good, you know? <sighs> Onto the buffalo ones. Now it's properly coated. These are... I don't know what these are. I think these are buffalo because they're very orange and they're a lot oranger than the other ones and buffalo is well known for being orange. Not only the sauce, but the animal in the wild. So, cleanse the fork a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, heck yeah. We got a nice, nice circular one. That's like, that's like damn near a perfect nugget. I will say, the the name Saucy Nugs is is apt. I I I, I think. Look, I wouldn't be upset with this name if they just called them Saucy Nuggets, like Saucy Chicken Nuggets. That's fine. Or like hand tossed chicken nuggets. I don't, I don't give a fuck. That's fine. This the actual menu item is awesome. I should- I should try it. Holy shit. <sighs> what the fuck? Okay, that was not buffalo. Oh my god, there's no fucking way that was- Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, I- Did I get something else? I know I got a spite- Oh my- This is fucking Wendy's, why is it so hot? I'm like, I'm like lightheaded right now. So false alarm, people. I did not get a buffalo one. I skipped that middleman all entirely and I got a honey barbecue. That, that's what the other one was. It's a, it's a waterfall in my mouth right now. These are incredibly hot. They're no the end flatline. But um, Jesus freaking Christ, dude. Why, these are hot as heck. So I didn't mention this because my mouth was on fire the first, holy fuck. It's happening again. Because my mouth was on fire the first time. Uh, but when I bit into that nugget, it was not like a nugget at all. That was like biting into a mozzarella stick. And it also tasted exactly like a mozzarella stick. <sighs> it's like a mozzarella stick, not at all like a chicken nugget. And that's a problem. Kind of. I don't mind mozzarella sticks, but I didn't, I didn't bite into a, a chicken nugget expecting a mozzarella stick. So... It's palatable. So... There's that. On to our last set of saucy nugs. I can get these fu It's like they super glue these goddamn things shut. I can't get them open. It might be my soft pussy liberal hands, but I, I just can't. I can't. Like, like the, I can't, I don't know if you can see this shit because the ring light's in my face. But like, you have to peel these tabs, but this bottom tab is like, is, is like, <laughs> look at that. It's so weak and pathetic. It like, I don't know how to how to get this without making a goddamn mess. I gotta go for advanced. Gotta, gotta get some like jaws of life on this fucking thing. There we go. Let's do a little whiff test. Okay, uh, they're kind of stuck together a little bit, so I'm gonna aerate them. You know, just, just give them give them a chance that they might not have in the wild. And uh, yeah. Bottoms up. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It is just barbecue and honey. More barbecue than anything. Like, if you enjoy just regular old shitty 
sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. You're gonna love these. Yeah, uh, uh, hot take maybe. I don't I don't know the the common consensus on sweet baby raised, but I think it kind of sucks. It's good as a stepping stone to to better barbecue sauce. All right, cooking lessons with Schnorpel here. If you want to make some better barbecue sauce out of just Sweet Baby Ray's, squirt some of that shit into a bowl. Get some mustard up in that shit too. Some salt, some pepper, you know, just some basic little seasonings. Just a dash of hot sauce, you know, like some, some Tabasco or, you know, really anything you can get your hands on. Then you mix all that shit together and you get barbecue sauce that's better than this. So I have an idea for a cool little finale. I'm thinking I take all the saucy nugs and I just, and I just like combine them together. And you know what? I'm gonna go one step further, Wendy's. <gasps> Fuck you. I'm also putting some blue cheese in there to make it even, even saucier. So this is what happens when you give the people control. They take what they want and they do shit like this. And now, that I've mixed this together, to the best of my ability, to create the ultimate saucy nug, let's see if I can outdo Wendy's. If I can show that bitch that, that, that she ain't, sh that she ain't shit, that, that we can do what she can do, but better, then I think, well, I'll, I'll consider this one a victory. I really strongly think that I have tainted all of these to fucking kill me because I, I ju it just now hit me that I covered all of these in that hot sauce. We take risks here. We, we learn for science and we do things that no one has ever done before in the name of progress. So, uh, you know, down the hatch. I don't think any of you are gonna like what I have to say here. I don't like what I have to say here. Do you all know like varnish, like like acrylic varnish? You know, I, I I've had to smell that shit plenty of times in my life, and this this tastes pretty close to how that shit smells. It's a little more subdued because if it tasted as strong, I'd probably be dead. You know, the the American palate is quite sensitive to lacquer, so personally, it's not for me. But, um, hey, Wendy's. I've got, I've got a new flavor for you. So those were some of Wendy's new saucy nugs. I've tried them. The quest is complete, so I'm hoping that I never see another advertisement for them again. Wendy, just shut the fuck up. Anyways, yeah, the, the nugs were fine. I still hate the name, even though I've been calling him that. I, I still think the name sucks dick. So, uh, yeah. See ya.